Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam and I welcome you all to my channel. In today's video, I will tell you a motivational story. Listen to this story. I'm sure you will learn a big lesson of life. How to manage your time, how to manage your life, how to overcome bad habits. You will learn from this story. It is a very inspirational story. And I'm sure you will love this story. At the end of the video, there will be three questions I will ask you. If you listen to the story carefully, I'm sure you will be able to answer all the questions. And if you can answer the questions, please reply in the comment section. I will check if it is correct or if it is wrong. And I will reply to you. And if you can reply correctly, it means your English is very good. You can understand everything. So, let's begin with the story. Before I start, a small request to you. If you like this video, please do subscribe. The story goes like this. Once, there lived a boy. He used to go to work every day. His work was very hectic. He was fed up with his work. He didn't like to work because there was no holiday, no week offs. Early morning, he used to wake up, have his breakfast, go to work, work the entire day. At night, he used to go home, have his dinner and go to bed. Every day, he prayed to God saying that, God, help me, take me out of this life. I want to live my life. It's getting worse day by day. I am unable to manage. Please help me. This is what he used to say every night before he goes to bed. One night when he was sleeping, he had a dream. He saw that a big tree, he was standing under the tree and the tree was talking to him. The tree asked him a question. What do you want from your life? The boy had only one answer. He said, I want to get rid of this hectic job. I want to be free. I want to lead a good life. The tree said, then you need to go and meet Gautam Buddha. He has the answer for your question. He woke up. Suddenly he realized what he saw in his dream. Without wasting time, the same day he started his journey. It's a long distance he need to cover. But he is determined. He will go and meet Gautam Buddha and ask this question. He started walking. The road was full of hills and mountains. First day came to an end. The sun is down. It has become dark and he don't know where to go. Luckily, one lady gave him shelter. She said, you can stay in my house and you can leave the next day. The boy was happy. He thought at least he got some shelter. The next day, before he left the house, he said to that lady that he is going to meet Gautam Buddha if she has any question to ask. She said that if you meet Gautam Buddha, I have one question. Please ask him when my daughter will be able to speak. She is 22 years and she is unable to speak. The boy said, sure, I will ask this question. And he moved on. On the way, he met a magician. He saw a magician sitting and praying to God. The magician said that he is praying to God for the last 15 years. He just won one answer from God. The boy asked, What answer you are looking for? The magician said, I want to go to heaven when I will be able to achieve my goal. The boy said, I will help you. 
I am going to meet Gautam Buddha and I will place this question in front of him. The magician is happy and with his magic stick he helped the boy to cross the big mountain. Now the boy has crossed the mountains. He is walking in the plain area. But there was a big challenge. Before reaching his destination, there was a big river he needed to cross. And he is unable to find any boat or any ship. Luckily, he met a mermaid. The mermaid said, that where are you going? Why you are here? The boy replied, I am going to meet Gautam Buddha because I have a question to ask him. The mermaid said, I will help you to cross the river. I will not charge anything from you because I am very rich. I have a lot of jewels and jewelries. But I have one condition. I will help you to cross the river and once you reach Gautam Buddha, I have a question also. The boy said, Tell me what question you have. The marmot said, My father and mother are lost. I am staying here in this big river for a long time. I want to go back home. Can you please ask Gautam Buddha when I will meet them, when I will meet my parents? The boy is very shocked is very upset by listening to this and said yes when I meet Gautam Buddha I will put across your question the boy moved on and reached his destination he reached the monastery this evening Gautam Buddha was done with his meditation he sat down to address the social gathering there were a few people who want to ask Gautam Buddha some question. So, Gautam Buddha said, You can ask three questions only. The boy is confused because he has four questions altogether. When his turn came, he remembered that lady. She said that her daughter cannot speak. So, he said to Gautam Buddha about her. Next, he remembered the magician who is sitting in the high mountain where no one was there and praying to God for the last 15 years because he want to reach heaven. Third, he remembered that mermaid whose father and mother is away from her and she want to meet them desperately. After asking all the three questions, he felt so happy from inside. Now, Gautam Buddha turned to reply. He started replying. The first one was the lady. Gautam Buddha said, The girl who cannot speak will be able to talk once she get married. Second, the magician. Gautam Buddha said, Once the magician drops his magic stick, he will be able to reach heaven. And the third, the mermaid can get reunited with her parents once she leaves all her jewelries. She got the reply of all the three questions and she started moving back. While returning, he met the mermaid first. He said to the mermaid about the reply what Gautam Buddha gave. She said, Take all the jewelries which I have because I don't want this. Soon she gave all the jewelries to that person, she got reconnected to her parents. Second, he met that magician. He said to the magician that Gautam Buddha said, if he drops his magic stick, he will reach heaven. The magician gave the magic stick to that boy and he reached heaven. Now the boy has so much of jewelry and a magic stick. Finally he went to that lady and said, Your daughter will be able to speak once she gets married. The lady said, Wow, I can find my son-in-law. You take away my daughter. Get married to her. He agreed to that. The boy saw the girl. The girl saw the boy. 
and both of them got married. The first thing the girl said, I'm so much thankful to you. The boy's life is settled. He got everything only because he dropped his own question. And see, he got everything in life now. So what this story teaches us? The story teaches us that if you can drop bad qualities, if you can drop taking tension, taking stress, our life will become beautiful. He sacrificed his question in this world. The ship which is tied in one shore should travel to another shore. When it is possible, when the ship sacrifices this part of the ocean to move to the other part of the ocean. So this story tells us that if you leave all the bad qualities, if you manage your time properly, if you wake up early in the morning, many things are possible. You can make a big difference in your life with all these good qualities. So my dear friends, this is the story. I have three questions for you. The first question is that, why was the boy so upset? Question number two, what was the wish of the mermaid? And number three, what do you learn from this story? If you can answer, please reply in the comment section. I will wait for your reply. I wish you all the very best. See you again.